Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Rina. Hello, Jani. Hello, Marisela. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you today, Jani? Are you feeling good? Hello, teacher. Yes. Hi, Rina. Hello. Hi. Okay, Jani. I'm happy to hear that. And Nehemias, how are you doing today, Nehemias? Today is your difficult day, right? At work, yes. I still remember you said Thursdays yes. are difficult. Was uh, it difficult today? Uh, no, estuvo más tranquilo. So ah, okay, good. Okay. And Saturdays you don't work, right? No, no, okay. I don't. I don't work. Do you have plans for this weekend? Are you going out? I don't know to the beach or with your family. Mm, no. No. Cuando, you don't have plans. No. Um, Cuando salimos es, es este no no planificado. Ah, okay, an spontaneous yeah. trip. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Just like, hey, let's go out, and you plan in the moment. Yes. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance, guys, really quick, and then we, we will have an activity. So, Lucy, Mesquita, no, Doris de Casaneda, Juli, Joanna, Katia Gabriela, present. Thank you, Katia. Lisette del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen, Thank you. Mauricio Castaneda. Minet. Rivera. Present. Thank you, Minet. Hello. Nehemias Regalo. Nelson Alberto. Present. Thank you. Nelson René. No. Okay. Rafa. Rina Espinosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosy Melendez. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Cepeda. And Zulma López. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you, Jani. So we have an activity here. It's similar to, to bingo. But we are going to to do it together. You're Teacher, going to... can you hear me? Uh, sorry. Here. Yes, yes, I hear you. Yes, no problem. I'm here. Good evening. Uh -huh. Hi. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. Nice to have you over here. Thank you. So we are going to try to get to know each other a little bit more with this activity. We have to find people that have what the picture says. For example, we need to look for someone who has a dog. And you have to, yes, Rene, I, I did. Uh -huh, I did. OK, so the activity is to ask your classmates the questions that we have here. Cada uno de ustedes va a hacer una pregunta. Vamos a empezar con la, la dos. Por ejemplo, si yo comienzo, voy a preguntarles a ustedes hasta que encuentre a alguien que tenga un perro. Like this. OK. And you have to elaborate the question. OK. Marisela, do you have a dog? Yes, I had a dog. OK. So What? now. I have Maricela here. Maricela, you have to continue. And you continue with question number three. Usted continúa y tiene que encontrar a alguien que le guste el chocolate ice cream. But elaborate the question, Maricela. And ask a classmate of yours. Okay, Maricela, let's go ahead. Um, uh... Um... 
no sé, pero no, sé, no me lo puedo por los nombres. Eh, Mario, no sé si está Mario. Mario, yes, Mario is there. Create the question. Mario, do you like, así sería, ¿verdad? Do uh -huh. you like chocolate in creams? Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Mario, do you like chocolate ice cream? Maybe he's not there in this moment. Ask Hello, Katia. Yes. Ah, hi, Mario. Good evening. <laughs> do you like chocolate mm -hmm. ice cream? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank yes, you. I so like chocolate ice cream. You do. Okay, Mario. So you have to continue. Number four, you have to look for someone who has two sisters. Just structure the question. And you can ask anybody. Puedes preguntarle a quien sea. You can ask anybody. Number four. Mm. Yes, con bien. Mm. <laughs> Nemías, regalo. Ok. Do you have two sisters? Do you have, in this case, do you have two sisters? No, I don't mm -hmm. have two sisters. Ok. Continue. I have one sister. Ajá, so, not Nemías. Ask somebody else, Mario. The same question. Tienes que preguntarle a alguien más, Mario, hasta que encuentres a alguien que cumpla con ese requisito. Someone who has two sisters. And you can ask anybody. Um, Mario. Okay, or Rafa, can Sorry, you Sorry, I have um, problems connection. with the connection. Ah, okay. Do you need help? Mm. Rafa, can you continue in that case? Because okay. Mario has problems with his connection. Okay. Uh, vamos a ver. Uh, Zulma, no sé si está conectada. Zulma, no. No. You have Nelson, Nelson Alberto. Sorry. René. Yeah. Don't worry, Mario. I understand. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have Daisy. Aha, uh -huh. you can ask. One problem connection. Yes, I see. Daisy, Daisy uh, no. No, Daisy is not here. Ask Rosy. Oh, Rosy. Okay, Rosy. Um, do you live near here? But the same, number four, porque todavía no tenemos a nadie ahí. Oh. Number four. Ah, okay. Uh, do you have two sisters? Do you have? Do you have two sisters? Um, no. no, teacher, como no me conecté ayer, no sé cómo le tengo que contestar. Ah, puedes decir no, I don't. Es la respuesta corta. No, ah, I don't. Okay. Ajá. No, I don't. Ok, thank you, Rosa. Okay. Rafa, continue. Rina. Uh -huh. Rina. Eh, la número cinco, no. Number four. Ah, Because we don't okay. have the person yet. Okay, Rina. Uh, Rina uh, have two sisters. Do you have two sisters? Do you have two sisters? Uh-huh. No, I don't, Rafa. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Five sisters. Okay. Five sisters, wow. Uh, <laughs> Lisette, do you have two sisters? Lisette is not available in this moment. Somebody okay. else, uh-huh. You still uh, have 
Yanni. Nelson René. Ajá, Nelson René. Do you have, do you have two sisters? Uh, yes. Finally, okay. So, so Nelson can continue. Okay, mm -hmm. Nelson, number six. Uh, six. Um, do you hate? Okay. Uh -huh. Do you hate shopping? Okay. And the person. Do you hate shopping? And um, uh, Marisela. Ahí es como ir a las fiestas, teacher. No. Hate is the opposite of love, Marisela. It's the opposite. Es lo contrario a odiar. Ah. Hate. Shopping es ir de compras. Do you hate shopping? Entonces, amo ir a la, a la fiesta a la, a, de compras. Me gusta no, ir de compras. Si lo odia. Uh, you hate. No. No. Okay. No, no. No. So Nelson, continue. Ask another person. Um, do you hate? Shopping and Rosy. No, I love it, shopping. <laughs> okay, another person, Nelson. Uh, Maria. Uh, do you hate shopping and Doris? Castaneda? I love shopping. Okay, continue, Nelson. <laughs> it's uh, typical. Do you hate shopping, uh, Vladimir? Uh, hi. Do you hate shopping, Vladimir? Este, yes. Okay. I, it's uh, boring. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so encontramos Nelson, finally, congratulations. Okay, Vladimir, ask question number seven to your classmates. Okay, este... Rina. Mm -hmm. eh, don't like pizza. But elaborated. Do you? Do you? Ah, do, you eh, do you like pizza? Ah, do you like pizza? I don't like. You don't like pizza. Okay. Why? Okay, so Rina yeah. will be here. Thank you. Because we need someone who doesn't like pizza and Rina doesn't like it. So she's the one. Okay, Rina, you have to look for someone who makes more than 10 phone calls a day. Just elaborate the question. Okay. Um, Arrene. Okay. And thank you, Vladimir. I, do you make more than 10 phone calls a day? Uh, well, for my job, yes, for sure. I, okay. I do, I make more than 10 phone calls per, per day. Really? A day? Wow, that's a lot of phone calls. So you, you found Yeah, one. it does. Okay, so Rene, <laughs> you have to continue. That one, I think it's easy. Surf is uh, like checking. Yeah, right? every, <laughs> every everyone day. here is doing it. Uh -huh. so I, I don't think that nobody checked the internet mm -hmm. on this day. So let's see who has been asking. Mm, Yanni, Sulma. They haven't been asked. Katia. Okay. Let's go with Sulma. Sulma, do you surf in the internet every day? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, I imagine that most of you. Thank you, Rene. Now, Zulma, you have to continue. Someone, okay, this is a very big question. You have to say, are you thirsty? Guys, do you know the meaning of thirsty? Do you know that word? It's when you want to drink water, thirsty. You need to drink water, sediento, thirsty. Zulma, sediento. 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 Ajá. Tiene que encontrar a alguien que tenga sed. But ask the question. Are you thirsty? Uh, okay. Eh, de las personas que no han participado, ¿verdad? Ajá. You have okay. Yanni, Katia, Doris, Nemías. Ok. Eh, Nemías es... Y that is the, are, you, are you thirsty? Are you, are you thirsty? Thirsty. thirsty. Mm -hmm. yes. Are you is thirsty? Yes, I am thirsty. Ah, okay. All right. So, Nehemiah is your turn. Evil Thursday. Huh? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Zulma. And the last one, Nehemiah. Someone who plays basketball. That is what you're looking for. Okay. Nelson Alberto, uh, do you often play basketball? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I don't play basketball. I don't. I don't like. You don't like it. Okay. No, I don't so like. He's not the one name is. Ask somebody else. Okay. Jennifer, do you often play basketball? No, I can play <laughs> basketball. Ah, okay. Continue, Nehemiah. That's the last one. Rafael, do you often play basketball? No, I I don't play basketball. Está difícil. Uh -huh. And now with the uh, pandemic, more difficult, even more difficult. Vladimir, do you often play basketball? Sorry. Uh, often play. Mm -hmm. No sé qué often. It's like usually. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh okay. Nah. <laughs> I don't... Okay. No, I don't like no, it. No, no, you don't. No. Okay, so. Uh, Katia, do you, do you often play basketball? No, I don't. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn, yes. Is you, there Damn, someone, <laughs> is there someone who plays basketball here? No, I guess no one, Damn, yes. Basketball? Mm. Ah, Doris. <laughs> Doris, you play basketball. Play. Yes. Ah, okay. So only Doris, only Doris only in the Doris. group. Okay. And soccer, 
I know Rina plays soccer. Okay. Is there somebody else? Ah, Vladimir, you play soccer too. Only you. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to share the book so we can continue practicing in, in the book. It's here. And we're going to talk about this. This is what you're going to learn to say how frequently you do activities in your workplace or in your life, in your daily routine. Okay, so Maricela, how often do you check your email at work? Question number one, how often do you check your email at work? Uh, I? I check my email. Mm -hmm. um, ¿Cómo se dice frecuentemente? Frequently. Frequently. Mm -hmm. Or every day, five times a week. Remember the expressions that I gave you a few days ago? From time to time. Lo chequeo cada ratito en la mañana, todo el día. Ah, okay. No sé cómo expresarlo. Every day? Ajá. Uh -huh. I chat, I chat my email frequently every uh -huh. day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Jani, and you, how often do you check your email? Uh, I had checked my email um cada minute every minute <laughs> okay you can also say all the time i check my email all the time also mm -hmm. because it's very very often okay thank you katia and you how often do you check your email? Mm, I check my email every three or hours. Every three hours. Mm, oh, okay. Uh, hours. Uh, or okay. four. <laughs> uh -huh. It's very often too, every day. Thank you, Katia. Now question number two. Mauricio, how often do you attend meetings? How often do you attend meetings? I attend meetings frequently. Every, frequently. Uh -huh. every two hours. Every two hours. Meetings. Sometimes. You have meetings every two hours. Meetings. Wow. A yes. lot of meetings a day. Sometimes, sometimes, uh -huh. some days. Okay, thank you. And you, Doris, how often do you check your email? I'm sorry, how often do you attend meetings, Doris? Uh, I, I, meetings, eventual. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Eventually. Okay, thank you. And let's see, Rafa and you, how often? Are you there, Rafa? Oh, the microphone, Rafa. I don't hear you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in one month. Sometimes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. We I'm going to give you more words today that you can use to express the frequency of your activities. We are going to continue here with the pronunciation practice. I'm going to read the conversation and some of you are going to read it again. So it says, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. 
And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You're right, or you are right. Okay, so we're going to start with Rosie and Rene. Rosie, you are Anne, and Rene, you are John. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call, call them on Friday to check their order. Do you, do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have a contact with them all the time. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Thank you. And this one, Rosie, is, uh, wait, once. Remember, that's the, the way to say it, once. Once. One more time, Rosie. Once. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, guys. Now, Nelson and Alberto. Nelson, you are John, and Alberto, you are Anne. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? Clients. I often call them. Hello? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, nice job. Thank you, Nelson and Alberto. Let's continue with Sulma and Mauricio. Sulma, you are Anne, and Mauricio, you are John. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every, every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on the Monday, but I usually do call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Mm -hmm. You are right. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. And Sulma, please repeat after me. Once. 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 Mm -hmm. And Friday, Friday, Friday. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's the pronunciation. Okay, Doris and Vladimir, can you continue? Doris, you are John, sorry, Anne and Vladimir, John. Okay. Oops, I think I muted you by mistake, Vladimir. Just unmute yourself, sorry. 
¿Ahora sí? Yes. Ok. Este, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And who often do you call your client? I often call them on a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, always. Kelton first thing in the morning. I believe is it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, thank you, Vladimir. And thank you, Doris. Can you please repeat this word, Doris, again? One okay. more time. Uh -huh. Once. One. Uh -huh. And the one here, Friday. Friday. Yes, uh -huh. that's the, the correct pronunciation. Let's see, Friday. Marce and Joanna. Marce, John and Joanna Ann. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it, it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call the once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, always. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Good pronunciation and good fluency too. Nice job, thank you. And let's continue with Daisy and Marisela. Daisy, you are John and Marisela, Anne. Okay. okay. Uh, how often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, uh, I try to check it as often as I can. And how and how often do you go to clients? Mm -hmm. I often often call team once a week on Mondays, but I usually call team on Friday to check their order. Do you call, call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it, it is important to have contact with, with them all, all the time. All the time. You are right. You are right. Uh -huh. Thank you. Well, because of the time, we will stop the pronunciation practice there. Some of you didn't read, but is there some of you who would like to read? Por el tiempo vamos a continuar. Yo sé que algunos no han leído, pero no sé si hay alguien que sí, si quiere leer, podemos hacer tiempo para un, una conversation más. De los que no leyeron, hay alguien que sí quería leer. Who would like to do it one last time? Mm, a mí Katia. me gustaría. Katia, okay. Do you want to do it también. with Rafa? Okay, all right. Okay. And then we will have time for you, Nemias, one last time. Okay, Katia, you are the girl, and Rafa, you are John. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can, and how, of, how often do you call your clients? 
I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice job. This one, Katia, is you, usually. That is the, usually. yes, that's the way you have to say it. Okay, so let's go, Nehemias and Jani. Nehemias, you'll be John and Jani, Ann. You start, Nehemias. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call the white web on the Monday. Bao E is usually called then on the Friday. The chef, their, their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Nehemias and Jani. Jani, remember this one. Once. Once. That's, once. That's the pronunciation of that one. Okay, now I have okay. some questions here, some comprehension. Well, it's a comprehension exercise. We will start with Mario. Mario, is your connection better now? Do you hear me? Mario, is si me escuchas? Yes, ready. Uh, okay. Mario, how often does Anne check her email? How often does Anne check her email? Every um, two hours. Okay. Hours. Uh -huh. So she checks her email every two hours. That's correct. And then we have a personal question. This is a personal question. Okay. Rosy, why is it important to check the email every day? Rosy, Rene, and Nelson, why is it important to check the email every day? And guys, if you want to also give me your opinion, send it by chat and I'm going to read. Okay, I'm going to hear Rosy, Rene, and Nelson, but if you want to, you can send your opinion by chat. It's welcome. So, are you, Rene? Are you ready? Will you tell me your opinion? Why is it important to check the email? Uh, well, on my personal case, it's because I receive a request through email or invitation for a meeting mm -hmm. or on some point instructions about my job. So that's the, let's say, the main way to, to to communicate uh, with my other partners in the same department. So mm -hmm. for me, on my case, um, I check the email, I can say like three or four times every hour. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, 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 for me, it's really important to have it that one in hand and, and check it that one frequently. All right, it's your main channel of communication with your workplace. Correct, okay. that's right. Thank you. Thank you, Rene. Nelson sure. or Rosy? Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Sería en lo personal o, o basado en el, en el diálogo? No, in your personal opinion. Ah, bueno, en, en lo personal, yo, I check emails eh, mm -hmm. once a day. 
because I check offers. Solamente para eso ah, lo utilizo. Ajá. You check offers by email. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ajá. That is a, a good point. Thank you, Nemians. It's also correct. And Vladimir, you said that you call clients. But do you use the email too? In your workplace? Do you have like sí, a bank pensé. email? Sí, no, yo lo puse como en el diálogo. <laughs> ah, okay, got it. Okay, yes, in this case, it is correct. And Nelson, do you have your, your point of view? Um, uh, uh, I check the mail every day uh, with uh, uh, receive uh, information information um, como diría recibir um, información también eh, procedimientos como diría eh, a procedures ah, sería entonces new new New, ¿cómo me dio? Pro procedures. New procedure. Eh, eh, solamente eso. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, Nelson. So, yes, I understand that you receive information and guidelines, like instruction, right? About the process that you need to follow for different aspects. Okay, Nelson, thank you. And now we are here. This is, imagine that this is the second part of the of words that we can use to express frequency or regularity. Es como la segunda parte de lo que estudiábamos la semana pasada sobre cómo expresar frecuencia en las actividades. Now, these are called frequency adverbs. And here you have the adverb and the frequency. Ahí tienen para que se hagan una idea de qué significa. You have the percentage, the meaning. Okay, we use adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Okay, we can express the repetition of the activity. And you have different options. We have always. Usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely, rarely, and never. I'm going to repeat again. Always, usually, Normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely, and never. Okay. And here we have some sentences, some ideas. Okay, let me see. Rafa, can you read the first three? Examples, Rafa. Okay. I always get up at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. He usually drives to work. Mm -hmm. She normally checks her email. Thank you. And take a look to the position, guys. The position of the adverb. Position is before, antes, before, the verb. Okay, it's like inside the sentence, in the middle of the sentence. Before the verb, you mention the adverb. Let's continue. Uh, let me see. Alberto, can you repeat? Sorry, can you read the next three examples? I often have breakfast 
at work mm -hmm. is sometimes used in the microwave. Mm -hmm. I occasionally work overtime. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good pronunciation too. Okay, Thank and you. Zulma, can you read the last three examples, please? Well, Sandra, well, Sandra, I call at work. He, he hardly has conference. I never get late to work. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zulma. Okay, so here you can see the position before the verb. They are before the verb. Okay. Now you have an exception exception to the rule. But I will tell you a little bit more in a moment. Okay, I have other examples to show you. But remember the, the position. Okay, give me a second. Last week, we study frequency expressions, right? I read a book every day or I play the saxophone five times a week. I go to the cinema once a month. The expressions, they go at the end. Esas expresiones sí las poníamos al final, right? That was the position. And now we have frequency adverbs. Look at the picture and look at the calendar, okay? The green color, it means that she does the activity when the, I will say when, where you see the green color. Okay, now, Mauricio, can you read the sentence, please? I always read a book. Mm -hmm. So always indicates all the time, every day. Thank you, Mauricio. Doris, can you read the second, the second example in the superior side? The one in the superior side. Uh, I usually play the saxophone. The saxophone. Mm -hmm. That's the saxophone. Yes. And here you have the frequency of the activity, usually, almost all the time, usually. Thank you, Doris. Next, Vladimir, can you read the other example? The other example we have, please. Perdone que tengo mala señal. Ah, okay. All right. Can you read the example, Vladimir? Please. If you, the one here. Uh, I usually play saxophone. The other one, the one here. El otro. Uh, I often ride my bike. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Vladimir. So here you have the, the green color. Las, las verdes son como la frecuencia de la actividad, often. Just where you see the green color. It's not all the time, right? No, it's todo el tiempo. Okay, next. Can you read the example, Marce, please? <laughs> How do you pronounce? Uh, Rarely. Oh? Rarely. 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 Ajá. Como los gringos dicen carro. Carro. Rarely. I rarely go, uh -huh. go to the cinema. Yes, thank you, Marcel. Okay, and there you can see the frequency or the regularity of the activity. Almost never. And then we have this one here. Can you read that one, Joa, please? I never drink alcohol. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joa. So this activity doesn't happen at all. Esa nunca pasa. Do you have questions? Do you have questions about this? Do you have questions or comments? 
something that you would like to ask? We will practice, okay? We will practice, you know, the next hour it's gonna be about that. But do you have questions for me? No, no questions in this moment. Okay, Nelson and you? Questions? No. Okay, Katia? Tampoco. Okay, all right. So let's practice. Vamos a practicar bastante entonces. Let's start with that. We are going to start with the worksheet. Okay, we will start with the worksheet that I sent in the group. Okay, this is the worksheet that I sent. And I also sent a picture so you can see the frequency of the activities. Okay, you have them. And you have to complete, complete the, the sentences. My brother is never sad. You read and you have to look for the best choice, okay? Viendo el contexto, ustedes tienen que ver cuál sería la mejor opción. Like number one, my brother is never sad. Leyendo eso, ¿cuál creen que sería la opción? He's happy. He's always happy. Always happy. Ajá. Entonces, leyendo el contexto, tienen que ver cuál sería la mejor opción. That is what you have to do. You're going to work in groups of three. At 8.59, I'm going to bring you back to take the attendance. If you haven't finished, I will send you back to your room, okay? If not, we will check. Okay, so let me see. Rene worked this time with Rafa and Vladimir. Okay, Rafa, sorry. Uh, um, wait, I made a mistake. I'm going to fix it. Okay, so yes, I said Rafa, Rene, and Vladimir. Then let's have Daisy, Doris, and Marcel. Group number three, Joanna, Mario, and Katia. Group number four, Zulma, Rina, Jani, and Nelson Alberto. We will have four in that group. Next group, we will have Maricela, Mauricio, and Nehemias. And our last group, the last ones, Nelson, Rene, and Rosie. Okay, please open the invitation. And I'm going to visit you there in a few seconds. Hi, Mauricio, recibió la, la invitación. Eh, sí, grupo. solo, sí, solo que estoy, estoy esperando. Ah, un okay. favor que un compañero me haga. Creo que Mario se lo va a mandar. Ah, gracias. Ya ahorita okay. me uno. Ok. And Maricela, are you there? Ok, creo que lo acaba de enviar. Ah. Hi, Lizette. No sé si está ahí. Me comentaron que había estado enfermita. Pero qué bueno tenerlo por acá, si me escucha. Tenerla por acá, Lizette. Cualquier cosa, estoy a la orden ahí. Se puede escribir. Y ahí le ayudo con todo gusto. Voy a ir a, a ver cómo van sus compañeros en un momento. Okay, lo vamos a dejar aquí un rato.
Juan también, igual que Juan Tai. Juan no, pero, pero ahí es. Ella. Ella siempre, o sea, ella siempre, ella casi siempre pasa los exámenes, solo que ahí se equivocó una vez, dice. Entonces, o sea, casi siempre sería como. Always o usually. Mm -hmm. O sea que siempre pasa los exámenes, solo esa vez se equivocó. Ajá, Usually, quizá, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, porque lo pondremos. Y ella, ella usualmente pasa su prueba. Sí. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you doing? Do you need help? Or do you have questions for me? No sé si tienen alguna pregunta o duda. No, por el momento no. <laughs> ok, Gracias. voy a quedarme aquí un ratito escuchándolas, but you can continue. Ok. Eh, sería la before, number four. I always remember to do my homework. I forget to do it. Dice, yo siempre sí, recuerdo. Hacer, ¿Cómo? Hacer mi trabajo, ¿verdad? Yeah, sería never. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería never porque como dice, yo siempre recuerdo hacer mi, mi tarea. Entonces sería, I never forget. O sea, yo nunca olvido hacerla. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I never. Uh -huh. I never forget to do it. I Cinco. ¿Qué es el don? ¿Qué es el don? El don. Mister, what is the meaning of el don? Um, es como casi nunca. Ah. Como raramente. Uh, ah, okay. Por eso está ahí con el 10%, porque es como algo que no es tan una actividad muy seguida. Uh, Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Las voy a dejar un ratito. I'm going to visit another group. Okay. I see you in a moment. Gracias. Bye. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm too. Se le fue la conexión a, a René. A René. No, no ingresó. Ah, ok. Creo que ahorita voy a cerrar los rooms porque tengo que pasar la asistencia. ¿En okay. cuál van ahorita? Número 6. Ah, seven. ok. Ok, solo voy a tomar la asistencia y luego se regresan para acá. Ok. Nehemias, which one are you doing right now? Which sentences are you checking? Eh, ¿O ya terminaron? No. No, no not yet. No. Ah, okay. Two, two questions. Okay, because I, I, I brought you back because I'm going to take the attendance. So okay. I'm just going to wait for your classmates to be here in 20 seconds. And, and then I'm going to let you go again. So. Okay, now that everyone is here, I'm going to, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, so we start with Daisy, Daisy Yesenia. Present. Okay, thank you. Doris Castaneda. Doris, ya se vino para acá. Doris. No. Doris Castaneda. Okay, um, next. Iris Cañas. Iris Joana. Present. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Marcela. Present. Thank you. Mario. Mario Cruz. And Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. 
Mauricio Castaneda. Present. Thank you. Uh, Minette Rivera. Nehemias Regalo. Present. Yes. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Then... Present. Present here. Uh -huh. Nelson René. And present. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. And then René Guardado. Present. Okay. Thank you, René. Lina Espinosa. Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Present. Vladimir Antonio. Samira Lisset. Okay. And Zulma López. Present. Thank Present. you, Yanni and, and Zulma. Okay. Now you can go back to the room. Hi, how are you doing? ¿Qué tal les Hello. va por acá? Hi. Analizando las oraciones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do you have questions for me? No sé no. si tienen alguna duda. No. And you, Jani? Todas. <laughs> eh, eh. Uh, sí, o sea, analizando porque hay palabritas que, por ejemplo, esa ah. la número 5, Sheldon, no sé qué, entonces no asocio ah. como, uh, entonces como para poder. Sheldon, para ah, ver. Ajá. pero ahí está la gráfica, guys, en el libro, ahí está, y sí, también aquí en la lo página. tengo. Ajá. Así que sí, eso sí. les va a ayudar como a, a recordarlas. Sheldon. Uh -huh. Está ahí y creo que también está en la, en la página que les envié, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok. Yes. Sure. Ok. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bueno, si me necesitan, me avisan y, y aquí regreso, ¿ok? Ok. So okay. To, ¿En cuánto van ahorita? Como en las siete. <ríe> las cinco. Seis. Como en las la seis. La ok. Seis. All right. Seis. Thanks. So, uh -huh. I'm going to let you continue and I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, avanzando. <laughs> okay. Rene, you were in this group. Weren't you in a different group, Rene? Sorry, I don't hear you. You're muted. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said that, uh, yes, this is the group that I was ah, before okay. you take the attendance. Ah, okay. I don't know why I have the idea you were in a different one. Okay, so... I <laughs> so far, are you going well, or is there something that I could help you with? Um, well, um, we all, I think that we are clear about the verbs of frequently that we need to use, but mm -hmm. it's, it's um, like say that it's not common to use one of those. For example, seldom or hardly ever is sometimes we say never or 
sometimes instead of just that one. So I mm -hmm. think in, in the most of these, uh, um, well, most of the answers that we put it there is almost the same or do never or always or usually or sometimes. But for um, me, it's rare to say seldom. Seldom. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You can use rarely. Maybe that one is is more common to you. But yeah, the idea yeah, is yeah, that you... Yeah, indeed, uh -huh. it is more common. <laughs> uh -huh. So with, common. with time, you're going to familiarize with them a little bit more. So, okay, well, in that case, mm -hmm. I'm going to let you continue for a few more minutes. If not, we will finish in the other, in the main room. Okay, so in okay, that case, great. I'm going to see you in a moment. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So you're about to finish. You're sí, almost done. La, por la última. Ah, okay, excellent. So in that case, maybe at 9, 10, in about one minute or two, I'm going to bring you back. Okay. So I'm okay. going to let you continue. See you in a moment. Hi, Mauricio. What happened? Se le fue el, el internet, Mauricio. Hi, welcome back. So I brought you back so we can check. We can check your answers. If you didn't finish, we will finish together. Okay, if you didn't finish, we will finish over here. I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the exercise and the, the, the book at the same time. Okay, so you can compare and look at the frequency of the activities and the adverb. Okay, so let me just set up my, my tools. And we will start with group number one, Rafa and Vladimir. Okay, so Rafa, help us with number two. What is the answer that you, that you have? Ok, 
Sorry, mm. microphone. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Hardly ever. Can you read the, the whole I, sentence? Sir? I was, okay. I was late for work only one time last year. Mm -hmm. I'm hardly ever late. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm hardly ever late. That one sounds good. Or rarely could be another possibility, rarely. Thank you. Seldom could be another option, depending on the way you, you see it. Number two, uh, sorry, uh, number three, group number two, Daisy, what do you have? And please read the whole sentence, Daisy. Mary filed only one test in high school. She usually passes her test. She usually. Yes. Mm -hmm. She usually. Or normally, it's also a good. But usually will be a good option. Okay, thank you. And this one is fail. Fail this. Okay, thank you. Now, Joa, number four. I always remember to do my homework. I never forget to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Can you continue with the next one, Nelson? Nelson René. Mm -hmm. Okay. Steven Seldon goes to a cinema. He rarely sees movie. Mm -hmm. That's a good option. Thank you, Nelson. Alberto, can you help us with number six? Yes. Judy saw a doctor for the first time in the three years. She hardly ever get, get sick. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. Thank you. Now let Qué me chido. see. <laughs> Qué chido que todo una vez. <laughs> <laughs> now, Marisela, what do you think about number eight? Maricela, are you there? I guess not. Mauricio, what does your group have? Mauricio, Nehemias, and Maricela. Just remember to activate the microphone, Mauricio. I guess Nehemias, can you help us? Thank you. Yes, uh, I get up at five o'clock, seven days a week. Uh, I always get up early. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Nemia. Group number six. Can you help us with that one, Rene? Number eight. Number eight. I always, it's always hot and sunny where I live. That's why I never see snow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now let's continue with group number one again. Vladimir, number nine. Um, do you ever drink coffee? Yes, but only sometimes, not often, just. <laughs> you can see the other part, right? Okay, yes, only sometimes. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. Do you have questions about this part? Is there something that you would like to ask about the first answers? Hay algo que quisieran preguntar sobre la primera parte que hemos hecho? Tengo una pregunta. Yes, Kat. La diferencia de Seldom y rarely. Seldom and rarely. Seldom. Porque, ajá. 
Es, significaría casi lo mismo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correct. Seldom and, and rarely are formal. And hardly ever, which is almost the same, is more casual. It's like it's more casual when people speak. Rarely and seldom, more formal. That is the difference, mm -hmm. the Thank formality you. of the expression. Okay, ah, and yes, any other questions? No? Okay, I'm going to scroll down so we can see the other part. Number 10, let's continue with Doris. Number 10, Doris. Doris, maybe she's not there. Okay, Mario, are you there, Mario? Rina? Okay, Mario, uh -huh. number 10. Do you have number 10, Mario? And then we continue with Rina. Tienes la 10, Mario? Okay. Mm -hmm. My sister almost never ate burgers and fries, fries. 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 Mm -hmm. she usually ate healthy she usually eats healthy and rina said often okay yeah that both of them will be good there okay thank you mario and and rina Normally, it's also a good idea, a good idea to use. Okay, group number four. Yanni, number 11. Yanni, do you hear me? Or Rosie? 11. Uh -huh, never. I um, never. Never. Take a bus to class. Another possibility, Jenny? Another class. Oh. Um, 11. Mm -hmm. Not the. Uh, no, no, la teacher, no llegamos ahí. No llegamos. Ok, ok. Let's ask Rosy to see what they have. Or Alberto, did you have a comment? I generally. You have generally. And you, Alberto? Normally. Normally. Because uh, mm -hmm. the, the three or four days a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, yes, usually or normally. Uh -huh. Generally could be okay too, usually or normally, yes, yes, depending on the way you see it. So I'm going to put here normally, but yes, the ones you mentioned are correct as well. Okay, and the last one, Katia, number 12. Do you ever, what, perdón. <laughs> That's correct. Do you uh, ever watch? What action? Action. Action. Movies? Mm -hmm. No, never. Well, I watched an action movie a few years ago. So I guess she'll say hardly ever. Uh huh. Or rarely would be another possibility, right? Okay, thank you. So that's that's it. Good options. Again, do you have questions? Is there something that you would like to ask about the second part? No, no questions. Okay, so we will continue in the book. And now this activity is about you. The first part is about you. I'm going to give you a moment so you can complete it and you can send it to me by chat or by taking a picture of it and sending it to the group. 
you have to complete the chart thinking about your activities. I always, and I'm going to give you an example. I always take a shower in the mornings. I often eat lunch with my family. I sometimes go out. I hardly ever go to the beach and I never visit Costa Rica. That's about me. Now tell me about you. It says list of your activities you do in a regular week. Lo que ustedes harían con esa frecuencia en una semana regular. Okay. So I'm going to give you a moment and complete it, please. I'm going to try to show you the, the chart too, so you can see what will be the, the meaning of each one. And if you need me, please ask. I'm going to be here. Do you have questions? Do you understand the activity? Yes? Okay. So, teacher, we can say it or we, mm -hmm. can you just send it to you? Yeah, you can say it if you want to. It can help the class to listen to everyone's examples or send it by chat. All right, I'm going to say it. Okay, go ahead. 
Okay, let's see. I always take a shower in the morning. I often watch series. Mm. I go out sometime. Well, this is, I think that is incomplete. Uh, I, I, I sometimes, say, I sometimes go out. I sometimes go out. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you can say with my friends or with my family. With my friends. Mm -hmm. or, uh, okay. Um, I hardly ever go to a restaurant mm -hmm. and I never play soccer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Rene. Sure. If you Sincere want to, Rene, aha, uh -huh. sorry. Mm -hmm. Did you talk to me or wasn't it you? No, it wasn't me. Ah, okay, it was Alberto. Give me one moment, Rene. Yes, Alberto, do you have a question or do you want yes, to read? For example, your... I always work in my motorcycle. You always work? In your motorcycle, I always go go ah, to work. Oh, okay. In, motor, in motorcycles, I often go to eat breast and coffee, but they a little delicious. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. travel, sometimes travel to San Michael City. Hardly ever take a bus. You hardly ever. I hardly ever take a bus. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, because uh, and it's scary. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, I'm never I'm a bad friend. Mm, you're never a bad friend. That is excellent. Never. <laughs> okay, thank you. They are correct. I just want to add something here. Okay, guys, make sure, make sure that you use the, the adverbs in the right position, right? It's before the verb. I sometimes go to the movies before the verb, but sometimes and usually can go at the beginning, sometimes and usually can go at the beginning or start of the sentence. It is an exception to the rule. I sometimes go to the movies or sometimes I go to the movies and it's also okay okay usually is the same i usually call call my friends or usually i call my friends it is an exception to the rule it's okay if you use it in the start of the sentence. You have two possibilities with usually and, uh, and the other one, usually and sometimes. Okay, I just wanted to add that. If you already finished, los que ya terminaron, falta todavía una actividad grupal, you can start working on that. Ahorita, en lo que no los mando a su room, Please create six questions. Tienen que crear six questions using how often, what you see here. It says, interview three different classmates. How often do you have meetings? And add five more. Tienen que pensar en cinco preguntas que hacerle a sus compañeros. Así que si ya terminaron con, con la primera activity, Pueden seguir con las preguntas y ya cuando se vayan al room, ya solo van a practicar speaking, escuchar y responder. Yes.
dudas sobre esta actividad? La segunda. It's a group, group activity, ¿no? Ok, entonces seguimos para mientras acá y ya en un momento lo separo. Ajá, yes, Rina. Solo usando how often. How often, sí, porque vamos a practicar la regularidad, the frequency of the activities. Todos tienen que llevar how often do you. Do you y luego ya el verbo y el complement. A menos que quiera hacérsela sobre alguien más. How often does your mom go to the beach? Que estaría bien también si quieren agregar terceras personas. Ok, so let me read the chat. Let's see. Ok, Jani, acá tengo una que dice, I have always eight in the work, Jani. Eh, hay que poner el, el always antes del verbo, Jani. I always go to work at 8 a.m. Se la voy a enviar en el chat, too. I always okay, okay. go to work at 8 a.m. Quedaría así, Jani. Let me see Nehemias. Nehemias. Um, let me see. I always check my emails every day. I often meet with my co-workers. I sometimes meet with my clients. I hardly ever late. I hardly ever work late. Esa Nehemías. Ajá. Yes. Las, la primera actividad. Si uh -huh. están subiendo al chat, se la puedo mandar como foto al uh -huh. yes. WhatsApp. Sí, mándeme. Tengo problemas con mi teclado. Por me eso. recuerdo que me dijo. Ok, mándemele yo ahí lo. Lo reviso. Gracias. One moment, Rafa. Ok. So, just that one, Nehemías. I hardly ever go late to work. Es como que llego tarde al trabajo, ¿verdad? Nehemías. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh, the other option that I could tell you is using the verb be. Um, Hardly ever late at work. Utilizando el verb to be, podría quedar así. Oh. Okay, and I never sleep at work. And that one is correct. Thank you. Yes, Rafa, tell eh, me. No me quedó muy claro la excepción de sometimes. The sometimes. Sí. Ah, okay. Solo de que, como ya platicábamos la posición, ¿verdad? De, de las, um, de los adverbs, que siempre van antes del verbo, pero con sometimes, or usually, podrías eh, utilizarlo al principio y no habría problema, gramaticalmente hablando. Con los demás, sí, estaría mal o incorrecto. Mal. Pero con oh. usually or sometimes, no problem, porque son una okay. excepción. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so. Teacher. Yes. Le envié mi primera actividad, pero se me fue cortado porque cada vez que quería escribir me sacaba del, del ah, grupo. Ah, okay. Let Ahí me lo reviso, por favor. Ajá. I always drink coffee. I often go out. Sometimes I take my pet to... What does it mean, Rosie? Sometimes I take my pet to pass. Como a pasear, Rosie. Sí. Ah, okay. Uh, Let's, a mi uh -huh. Let's change that one. I often take my pet for a walk. Or I often walk my pet. That will be the right way to say it, Rosie. The other ones are okay. 
Eh, hardly ever, Rosy, don't use it at the beginning. Hardly ever, no, no la podríamos poner al principio. Eso sí sería, I hardly ever visit the doctor. Siempre tendría que llevar el I primero. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And I have never gone camping. That's perfect. Solo estamos utilizando otro tiempo, pero está bien. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Mario. I always go to work. Okay, thank you. Finn, I'm going to check your message. Okay, One Rina, I always go to work every day. You are repeating uh, the frequency. Si pone always y every day es como repetir, que siempre lo hace, solo uno, solo I always go to work y yes, hasta ahí. Ya, yeah, every day ya no sería necesario. Okay. And then I often have lunch with my coworkers, as you can see. Yes, uh -huh. the other ones are okay. So how are the questions? ¿Cómo van con las preguntas? Ya las tienen la mayoría para enviarlos al room. Because I think it's time. In one minute, I'm going to send you to the room with your group to ask the questions and write down the answers that your classmates give you. Yo voy a llegar solo a escucharlos, cómo preguntan y cómo responden. So let me see. And Joa, do you have your sentences or did you send it by chat, Joa? I don't remember looking at them. In the chat. Send them by chat. Maybe I read them long time ago. Let me see. Al privado, teacher. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yes, uh -huh. I remember now. Mm -hmm. All of them are correct. Okay, so I'm going to send you the invitation to go back to the room to practice with your classmates. Okay, the questions that you created. And I'll visit you so I can hear you a moment. Mario, I'm going to send you to room number three. And Rafa, let me see, Rafa. Rafa, room number five. ¿Cómo va, Rina? ¿Cuántas preguntas lleva? Varias. Ajá. En Yusuma, ¿cómo van las preguntas? No le escucho, Zulma, de micrófono. Ah. No entendí la pregunta. 
How often do you call your sister? Ah. Ahí cambia la brother porque no tengo sister. Okay. <laughs> right. This is what I call you, brother. Um, is that I, I sometimes call my brother. How often do you study English? Uh, I I always study English. How often do you go to the movies? Go to the what? Movies. ¿Cuánta, cuánta, ¿Con qué frecuencia va al cine? Ah, de cinema. Mm. Uy. Ya. ¿Cómo se dice? Un poquito arriba de nunca. Hardly <ríe> ever. Hardly ever. Uh -huh. I have hardly ever. Go to the cinema. Uh -huh. Movies es otra opción. También pueden utilizarla. Go to the movies or go to the cinema. All uh -huh. of them are correct. Or movie theater. Okay. Bye. Or joke. Uh -huh. Dice, primero, Daisy, how often do you eat pupusa? Mm. Mm. I... Uh, I sería, usually... Uh, I usually eat pupusas. Mm. Eat pupusas. Doris, and you, how often do you eat pupusas? I usually eat pupusas. Okay. La otra, Daisy, how often do you drink coffee? Mm. I never drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Incredible. No le gusta Daisy. No. Uy, no, no sea así. Sea rico. Es la bebida preferida de los adultos. Sí. Yeah. Okay, you're going well. I'm going to let you continue because I want to check other teams, but you're going well. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, all the way. Always, cada momento. <laughs> Hoy voy yo. No sé cómo okay. sería every moment, ¿verdad? Cada uh, momento. No. Como todo cada, el tiempo. Todo el tiempo. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, I'm just going to hear you. Así que, you can, you can go. Okay. Um, how often do you travel? Travel. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I never travel. I never. Mario, how often do you travel? Never. <laughs> Ahora va Mario, ya tendrá la tercera, sería. Yes, I do. <laughs> Deli. <laughs> How often do you read a book? I read a mm. book rarely. 
I read a book hardly ever. Okay, so, you're going well. Just remember to put it before the verb. I hardly ever read the uh, book. Uh -huh. Not, not como, at the end. Como ya dando la respuesta, ¿verdad? Uh, como así. Porque cuando usted pregunta o cuando usted responde es lo mismo. Para preguntar, sí. usualmente no utilizamos los adverbs, esos. Pero si los pusiéramos, van, do you always read a book? Do you always read? También va antes del verbo. Okay. Y ahí va también eso. Okay, I'm going to let you continue. Just remember to say it before, before the verb. That will be the right position. See you in a moment. Goodbye. Hi. How are you Hi, doing? teacher. Hi, teacher. Are you still asking questions? No, yeah. ya terminaron. Yeah. Venía a oírlos yes. un ratito, ya viene muy tarde, se acabó la... <risa> ah, es que solo ustedes dos están, ¿verdad? Así que terminaron sí. más rápido. Sí. Okay, good. ¿Cuántas preguntas se hicieron? Cinco. Y se Cinco. Cinco. Ah, ok, se hicieron Cinco. bastantes. Uh -huh. Ok. Teacher, con, con la respuesta tengo un poquito de duda. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo... Uh, how often do you drink milk? Yo le pregunto uh -huh. a él. Uh -huh. La respuesta de él sería uh, I drink once in a while. Uh -huh. Sería así la respuesta. Podría El ser verbo, una opción. I drink. Uh -huh. Porque es una expresión que está utilizando. Uh -huh. Entonces las expresiones pueden ir al principio o al final. Uh -huh. Or, Uh -huh. Los adverbs que somos los que están viendo ahora, que estamos viendo hoy, esos sí van en medio, antes del verbo. Antes del verbo, en la respuesta. Ajá. Pero ah, las okay. expressions van al final o al principio. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Yes. Ok, yes. so in that case, I think that I'm going to let you alone about one, one or two minutes, guys. Because your classmates haven't finished. No me, okay. no me, okay. no me di cuenta que ustedes solo habían dos. Pero siempre estuvieron sí. solo ustedes. Eh, Mario y Marisela se desconectaron. Ah, eh, yo envié a Mario a otro grupo. Ajá. Ah, y en ah, el grupo okay. anterior solo yo estuve porque no se conectó ni Mario ni, ni Marisela. También. Ah, sí. ok. Hasta ahora que vino Rafa. Okay, well, if you want to, you can try to ask uh, other questions in the meantime, so you can practice a little bit more. If not, in okay. about one, one or two minutes, I'm going to send you back. I'm just going okay. to check one more group, okay, and, and I'll see you in a moment, okay? Okay. Eh, veo que unos compañeros eh, eh, pueden un poco más, eh, o sea, más que uno, ¿verdad? Están más así como con el inglés. Entonces, ¿qué posibilidades hubiera que, digamos, a, hiciéramos como grupo o quien se quisiera afiliar y practicar en los tiempos libres que tuviéramos en nuestros trabajos o algo? No sé, no sé que, si eso es posible, porque veo que hay unos compañeros que, que, que están más como... Adelante, entonces, como compartir y practicar y todo. No sé si eso es posible. Puedo. Yes. De hecho, que, fíjense que yo, de, de, bueno, de hecho, desde el primer, yo, eh, bueno, es mi segundo módulo, en el primer mm -hmm. módulo siempre decía esto cuando, eh, bueno, de hecho, con Rina y Zulma estuve igual en el primer módulo y yo siempre mm -hmm. cuando nos mandaban a, la, a los pequeños eh, aulas, mm -hmm. siempre les decía si necesitan ayuda con mucho gusto, ya que aquí estamos que tal vez uno puede cinco, el otro puede cuatro, o sea, no todos quizás te, como podemos igual, ¿verdad? Pero yo siempre he dicho, eh, eh, pregunten si podemos ayudar, ayudamos, y si no, pues igual nos ayudamos. Eh, aquí vamos a hacer como el lacito, ¿verdad? O sea, como dice el dicho políticamente, el, el pueblo unido 
jamás será vencido, o sea, no podemos ayudar a ambos. Y si alguno siente que tiene la oportunidad y no va a tener problemas, ya que a veces en la familia sucede, también puede escribirnos a, a, a nuestro chat privado. Bueno, en mi caso, yo con, uh -huh. mucho gusto, yo con mucho gusto puedo tener alguna pequeña conversación, un poquito así como desnivelada con las respuestas, porque a veces como paso ocupado, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. yo con mucho gusto, si a mí les gusta, chat, si quisieran chatear conmigo, yo con mucho gusto, también les respondo, si tienen alguna duda, igual. Yo sé que igual, somos, uh -huh. somos eh, beginner y estamos para aprender, estamos para equivocarnos y sin miedo al éxito. Sí, Yanni sí. sí, es un buen, como un buen motivo, ¿verdad? Quererse superar y aprender más. La felicito por querer uh -huh. eso. Podemos utilizar el grupo del chat también, el que tenemos todos, que ahí estoy yo. Y podemos uh -huh. tratar de hablar en inglés. Y si ustedes pueden uh -huh. hacerse videollamadas o como mini conferencias, también pueden. Y eso es lo bueno de estos grupos, que como dice Nelson, ustedes pueden ayudarse, porque yo no me puedo a veces uh -huh. estar en todos los grupos al mismo tiempo. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, nos podemos ayudar entre todos. Ajá. Pero podemos uh -huh. tratar de, de implementarlo, de tratar de chatear un poquito más. Y, y yo, uh -huh. y ustedes saben que es parte de mi deber de ayudarles y corregirles para que la siguiente vez no se cometa el mismo error. Pero sí, Yanni, se puede decir. Ok. okay. Eh, y gracias por decirlo. Yo vine aquí de repente a escuchar. Ok, so it's time to go back, <laughs> but we will continue in, in a moment. <laughs> ok. We will wait for a moment. How did it go, guys? Were you able to practice a lot? Doris, ¿cómo les fue en su grupo? Si ¿Sí lograron hablar bastante, conversar. I don't hear you, Doris. Yes. Yes, you could. ¿Y qué tal va, Doris? Ya se siente mejor. Ya se va adaptando más. Ya. Yeah. A little bit. Ok. All right. I think that everyone is, it's over here. So I'm going to take the attendance again. And, and then we, we finish with the class. I don't remember exactly. Okay, but give me one moment. So we start with Daisy, Daisy Mesquita. Present. Thank you, Doris de Castaneda. Present. Thank you. Iris Joana. Jennifer Marcela. Present. Okay. Mario Cruz. Eh, Katia Gabriela. Present. All right. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Present. All right, Mauricio Castaneda, Minet Rivera, Nehemías, Regalo. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Nelson Aguirre. Present here. All right, Nelson René. Present. All right, Rafael. Present. All right, René. René Guardado. Enrina. Present. All right. Present teacher. Thank you. Present Yadimir. teacher. Okay. Jani. And Su. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. So, um, guys, I wanted to tell you something that we were discussing a little bit with, with Jani, Rina, Alberto, and who else was there? Zulma. Uh, that to practice a little bit more English, because we need to practice a lot, to speak a lot, to get better, we have to practice, right? So what do you think about using the WhatsApp group to chat a little bit more, like to have conversations with all of us? So that way we can practice more. If you want to, you can do it. I'm going to, I'm going to like send you messages <laughs> a lot, And if you want to, we can try kind of try to have a conversation. 
de Spanish Persian. Estábamos platicando con un grupo de que, de que si les gustaría practicar más, ¿verdad? Para mejorar aún más. Yo sé que ahorita van comenzando, así que todavía falta un largo camino por recorrer, pero ya se puede practicar, ya van mejorando mucho más. Si ustedes quieren, podemos utilizar también el grupo para tener pequeñas pláticas. Ahí conversamos por mensajes para que ustedes puedan practicar más. Se puede utilizar ese grupo, ¿verdad? También. Y yo puedo apoyarlos también. Comento, los corrijo de vez en cuando. Si no es ahí, aquí. ¿Verdad? Así que si ustedes quieren, pues desde mañana podemos comenzar a hacerlo. Yo sé que todos trabajamos. A veces no siempre podemos estar chateando. Pero si ustedes quieren, podemos hacer eso. So, what do you think? ¿Les parece? Sí. Yes. Sí. Yes. 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 Ok, yeah. yes, sure. a tratar de tener English Conversations y ayudar. Es algún idea. Ok, All right. ahí puede, podemos poner stickers y todo, ¿verdad? Ok, good. So, for the moment, I think we will stop there. Solo no me recuerdo bien a quién le tocaba la sesión. Lo mandé en el grupo, ¿verdad? Ustedes se recuerdan. ¿Quién mencionó? Ah, oh, Marisela. Marisela, can you stay? ¿Se puede quedar, Marisela, el día de hoy? Mm, no, teacher, other day. Ok. ¿Hay alguien que se quiera quedar en vez de Marisela? No. Ok. So, in that case, you're free to go. Ok. Alberto, you want. Ok. We can repeat. So, yes. So in that case, guys, you can, you are free to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Ahí les escribo un mensajito en, en el grupo. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Thank you, Renee. Bye -bye. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, Alberto. So remember that this session is special for you. I can help you with anything that you need. What would you like to practice? For example, uh, 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 I don't I don't have yesterday because I mm. have problem connection. Mm. I only connect on uh, 21 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I remember. You try because and you get it, disconnected, because right? In my, uh, because in my place, it's raining very hard. Mm. And, and entonces, the connection was unstable. Ajá. Sí, tengo un pequeño detalle siempre yes. que llueve en el lugar. Mm. Eh, se mm -hmm. me calen, yo, tengo, eh, yo tengo internet satelital. Ajá. Entonces, cuando se pone oscuro y llueve, pop, se me cae todo. La Ajá. señal de TV y la señal de... Y aunque intenté conectarme con, con datos, eh, me cuesta un poquito. Excepto cuando estoy en el trabajo, sí como que se me facilita mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, y yo siempre he dicho, eh, cuando hice un comentario ahorita con la compañera, uh -huh. eh, pues la, la felicito porque se quiere superar. Sí, uh -huh. cuando, se quiere, cuando se quiere, se puede. Y aunque se pierda una sesión, no hay que dejarla atrás. Hay que, hay que uh -huh. retroceder y hay como retomar el tiempo, ¿verdad? Este, uh -huh. pues... Por el momento eh, me siento bien, la verdad. Eh, voy aprendiendo poquito a poco y quizás por falta de confianza no. No pregunta. No me, no, me, no me suelto o no pregunto. Ajá. Sí, como ahorita todavía vamos en. Eh, bueno, ya va pasando unos días, ¿verdad? Pero sí, poquito a poquito ya todos van a ir agarrándose más confianza, ¿verdad? Ya en comparación al primer día de clase, ya. Este ya hay más confianza, siento, en el grupo. Ya más y, y este, relación. Yo, uh -huh. Y como le digo, siempre hago el comentario con los compañeros. Eh, yo siempre soy bastante como inquieto con conocer algunas palabras nuevas. Algunas que se me quedan, otras que igual se me pierden. Pero eh, tanto como usted tiene la disponibilidad de ayudar a los demás compañeros, yo también podría ayudarle en algunas cosas a ellos. Solo falta que eh, tengan confianza, ¿verdad? Porque... Eh, yo, quiero, yo quiero aprender de todos ustedes, incluyéndola, y igual creo que también eh, ustedes aprenden de uno, o sea, siempre uh -huh. he dicho que todo, todos aprendemos de los demás. Correcto. 
So yes, yes, ahí yo también puedo hacer el tiempo porque a veces no me queda tiempo de ver el teléfono cuando estoy ocupado, pero medio uno puede ir medio escribir, ¿verdad? Así como el detalle que le decía a algunos compañeros que, que ponían solo think en el grupo. Entonces yo le digo, está thank you or thanks, ¿verdad? Pero no think. Entonces así se va aprendiendo con, con uno decirlo y que otro lo corrija. A veces el, el, la corrección le ayuda a uno a recordar que, que no era así. Así que todo sirve. Eh, yesterday, Nelson, it was a review. Ayer... La clase era de review. Lo que estuvimos haciendo era practicar how much and how many. Si ¿Sí estuvo en la clase de how much and how many. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. I, okay. understand, I understand very well. Uh, for example, how much, how much, how much is the uncountable? And how, how much, many uh -huh. is, is, is countable. It's okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Sure. And correct. Yesterday it was a little bit more about the answers. Ayer nos basamos más que todo en las respuestas. Había traído algo, pero como fue ayer. Okay. Voy a darle un ejemplo de lo que vimos ayer. For example, how much? Okay. So how much water does the Glass have. Okay, so we have the question. How much water does the glass have? There are different options to answer. Number one, we can say the glass has a lot of water. Option number two, the glass has some some water. In number three, the glass has little water. Little, some, and a lot. Oh, eh, for example, is eh, it's okay. I see a little mm -hmm. eh, and some is a medium. Mm -hmm. It's like medium size of the glass. For example, a lot is full. Aha, full, full. The glass is okay. full of water. So you have different options depending on what you want to say. You can say the glass has a lot, a lot some, of water. Mm -hmm, some or little water. So you have different possibilities. Now many, how many? In this case, we have other options. How many friends do you have? Okay, I can say I have many slash because you can also use a lot, many friends or a lot of friends and it's okay. Or like medium, so so, I have some friends. And when you want to I say have, that, I have, I have a little friend. Uh, no, in this case, we will say I have few, few a friends. Few. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. So when you have countable nouns, we can use many, a lot, some, or few. When you have a non count noun, you can use a lot, some, or little. Little is for non, non count nouns. And few is for count nouns. Uh -huh. It has the same meaning, but little is for, I'm going to put it here, non count nouns. And the other one is for count nouns. They have the same meaning, but the word changes, like how much or how many, right? It changes because of the noun. For example, say, teacher, uh -huh. for yes. example in, 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 in my case, I understand this uncountable. Uh, un, uh, uncountable. Uncountable. Uh, uh, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. 
es, es de remember. Eh, not, to remember. No count no es difficult for me. No count o sea, no. Se me hace, ajá, eh, en, al menos usar el no count no, uh -huh. eh, eh, count no, se me hace como que, como que me confundo un poco. Pero si, uh -huh. ya digo, eh, eh, no contables, o sea, los incontables y contables. Se me hace uh -huh. como más fácil. No sí. sé si tengo ese pequeño, eh, sería correcto o no correcto. Que los trata de separar mentalmente Ajá, para la, hacerlo la más de... fácil. Ajá, para mí. ¿Cómo? O sea, eh, cuando estamos hablando eh, entre how much, how much eh, para mí es más fácil eh, recordarlo como incontable y, y how many es más fácil recordarlo a mí, o sea, recordarlo de mi, a mi manera como contable. Ajá, pues está bien, siento yo, porque aquí uno tiene que asociar, asociar y no traducir, no traducir. Igual, aunque uno traduzca, la palabra va a ser la misma, significan lo mismo, pero depende de qué uno quiere decir, tiene que encontrar la correcta. Así que siento que asociar eso de asociar está muy bien, que piense a ah, countable noun. Ok, many. Van a haber casos en los que uno a veces, a, me ha pasado a mí, hay palabras que no las utilizo y luego me pongo a pensar, ¿será countable o non-countable? Entonces ahí me quedo y ya voy a Google, ¿verdad? Solo para asegurarme que es countable o non-countable. Pero ajá, eso es lo que uno debería de hacer. Teacher, uh, uh, you can say, uh, you can say, uh, Nelson, your, your your pronunciation is very well because I I practice in in a little, a little group mm -hmm. and I I create book mm -hmm. or, or history in Facebook or or other other mm -hmm. page. Yes. Eh, no sé si es, es bueno. Sí, está eh, bien. Facebook. And good también se puede utilizar en algunas ocasiones. Cuando habla de salud, por ejemplo, I feel good. Or I sleep good. O puede ser well, I sleep well. I feel well. Y con otros verbos, solo se utiliza well para decir bien. Ajá, sí. Okay. Así que sí está bien utilizarlo. El yeah, well es utiliz es, es, también se puede utilizar como tanto, tanto decir eh, estoy bien, pero también sí. para continuar una conversación. Ajá, correcto. Como bueno, bien, well, y ya usted continúa la conversación. Continúa. Mm, ok, tenía esa pequeña duda. Yes, yo no, duda. No hay más preguntas. Eh, That's all. That's all. Okay, Nelson. Well, nice to talk to you. Y siempre, Thank si no hay you. nadie que se quiera quedar, usted puede quedarse, okay? Sin problema. Okay. Usted dígame. Now it's now it's now it's full Spanish. Uh, then I will I will is full English. Okay, sounds cool. Well, so, teacher, thank you for uh, thank you for your time. Uh, that you are very nice. Thank you for thank all. you. My pleasure, Nelson. Yeah. Nice to have you over here, and I hope you can well, rest this night. And see well, you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. It's okay. Okay. Bye so bye. see you in the teacher, class tomorrow. Night. You too. Bye bye. bye, -bye.